everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to blend a little bit with your pastels. We're going to kind of think about um, doing some water, doing some sky um, in our landscapes. And then I'm going to show you how to put kind of like a base coat down and get into some of your trees and all those other things that are in your painting. So think about this as a painting. Okay, we're going to start out with just blending what a sky would be. You want to think to yourself that you want to have about four colors per bar. So we're looking back at your drawing that you did. Your drawing should be very light. You can see I just kind of did this little drawing of this beautiful mountain landscape. It takes me back to like Colorado. There are some trees here. There's mountainous trees over here. Um, these are just mountains in the background. This is all water. So we want our water to be water. We don't want it to be standing up. So we want to make sure that we're doing water flat. Water tends to be better on a piece of artwork when you go back and forth and you go in a horizontal direction when you're actually doing it. Sky is the same way, and it really depends on what type of sky you have. Sometimes you have a sky where there are clouds that kind of fan out. A lot of you, I think, from looking at your photos, I think that a lot of you have um, skies that are very just blue sky. So let's just start with a few different shades of blue. Okay, and we're gonna get some white in there. You might even put a little bit of color. It depends like what kind of sky you have. So if you're starting with a sky, I'd like you guys to get on the um, scrap piece of paper that I gave you and get your pastels out and let's try this. So think about sky being a little bit lighter towards the bottom. We're just gonna blend some colors. So push your color in there Okay, and then as you go up, it's a little less pressure on your color. Okay, as you go up a little less pressure, and we're going to blend in a, a darker blue. So think about how this is actually going to blend. When I start blending over this lighter blue down here. I want to have less pressure over that lighter blue. It's a little finesse. You can kind of feel it blending. You can feel it sort of mixing together when you have your pastel over it. And all of your areas should be rich, rich. And this is a pastel painting. Even though we're not using paint, these are oil pastels. We want it to be a rich painting, okay? So I don't know how dark your sky would actually get, but if it does get a little bit darker than that, you can kind of blend in a little bit of the dark blue. But I do want to see that you're trying to just blend these colors where they, you're not, I don't want to see a line. I don't want to see a line in between these things. Okay. So, and you can see another thing. If you start pushing too much. So I'm going to show you. If you start pushing too much, that type of thing's going to happen. You see what I just did? I pushed it out of the way. So it's it's a lighter finesse with the pastel. You want to make sure that you are moving it. You're actually moving it around, but like right now I'm call I'm going over it very lightly. So it's a very light pressure with my pastel. <laughs> Okay, now same thing when I get to my darker part up here, I'm bringing that dark finesse back in where you can see that it's blending very smoothly. Okay, I'm going to bring some of my sky down a little bit and I'm going to show some of the paper through it 
What you don't want to do is that your end result, you do not want to see. I don't want to see that you have some of that paper kind of showing through it. I want to be rich. So if you need it to be lighter, you add your pastel, your white pastel, and blend on top. Okay, so you want to make sure that it's all blended in. Now, skies especially, you can use anything that you want to to help blend this into a smooth, creamy painting. Okay, so a paper towel. Okay, I like to use a little bit of paper towel and think about whenever you blend this, whenever I go like this, I've got pastel. Like I'm actually sort of, I can use this in a different area now. I could blend this all over, okay? But think to yourself that you're kind of, the harder you push it, see what I just did right there? It's like I'm taking some away. So when I come up here, when I come up, onto the darker area. I've got my light already on this. So you might have to, you know, continuously use your paper towel in a different, you know, fold it up, do something like that. <clears throat> okay, so if I don't want to have that dark come down onto my light, fold your paper towel up so my, my dark doesn't come down on my light area here. Okay, fold your paper towel up and, you know, come down into it a little bit. But you see how I'm pushing some of the pastel right off there. You're going to have to put more over the top of that because that is not rich and creamy. That's what we want, rich and creamy. Okay, so this is just a, kind of like a smooth blend. And I know people like to do this. And I like to kind of keep it like this, okay? And this is great if you want to put clouds over it. So this area here that that um, is very light, like I don't see a heavy, like if I put my finger on it, it doesn't really stick because it's just kind of like the paper that's, that's basically stained, okay? You can go in and you can start to add some of your clouds in there, okay? So clouds... I actually do map out my clouds a little bit. And when you do clouds, you have to really look at them. Um, it depends like what type of clouds you have in your sky. Uh, some clouds, it depends where the sun is, are going to have your, uh, think about the sun hitting the top of the cloud. The top of the cloud would be lighter if the sun's hitting the top of the cloud. And the bottom of the cloud would be a little bit darker. So I can show you a little what I mean by that. So I'm going to kind of throw in a little, and again, I want the top, and, I, and I'm pushing with my pastel. Like, you want some of that white to kind of just, just pound it right in there. All right? And be careful when you're wiping the crumbs off, because that's just going to kind of, like, all those crumbs, just be careful. And, and you know, you don't want to get it all over the place either. So I'm going to use a little bit of gray right underneath a little bit, just a little just give it a little bit of depth, like that is one cloud there. And But I already see that there's some shading because of my blue that's underneath there. I already see that that's lighter and it, it is darker under a little bit, but you can kind of accentuate it a little bit if you wanted to. Okay, and you want to think about using some different colors within it. So you know, blend, blend that edge. Don't leave it so that it's super stark. You gotta look at your photo, continuously look at your photo. This is just a practice. All I want you to do first is practice, okay? So I got a little sky going there. Um, I'd like you to try. Some, where some trees might be. So think about what color you could put down as what's called an underpainting. And an underpainting can be colors like this kind of golden color, um, this tan, 
color, peach, um, something that's fairly neutral. So think about trees and the outdoors. Think about what's fairly neutral. Um, something that has a little bit of orangey tone to it. You can definitely blend and mix. So I'm just going to put some of this down first and I'm going to show you like a little bit of trees. So I'll put down a little bit of this color. And this one I don't want to put as an underpainting. I do not want to. An underpainting is not rich and creamy. It's a light coat, okay, of color. If you're actually using different paints, um, it doesn't have to be light. But this is this is our uh, oil pastel underpainting, okay? So we're going to kind of use some of this, maybe a little peach in there. Okay, I'll show you a little bit of some how we do some trees. Uh, we can use a little bit of green. Since I'm doing trees, I'm going to use a little bit of green up like this. Okay, but I'm going to carry this brown in with it because I want to have a slightly different color than what I'm actually going to use, and I'm going to use a lot of greens. But think that, you know, these, these Impressionist painters, they definitely used color that wasn't actually there. You are the artist. You have to make sure that you are, you know, using different colors that might not actually be in your photo. So... I'm going to use my uh, paper towel and I'm just going to kind of blend a little bit. And this is what I I'm going to start my trees on. So again, I'd like you to try this on your scrap piece of paper that I gave you. All right. And now you're going to pick out some greens. So if I've got a lot of green trees, I definitely want some of them to stand out more. So yeah, go ahead and pick out your greens, but you're also going to want to, you're going to have some yellow in there. Um, what is the complement of green? It is red. So think about using the complementary color because that will make it darker. And you're going to notice that you can't get very dark without doing something different. And the something different is adding your complementary color. Okay, so I'm going to have these colors going, and I will definitely throw in a little bit of blue where I need to, maybe a little bit of purple. It's almost like you can do you can do many colors within your trees, because you got to think to yourself, there's several different trees kind of layered and stacked in there um, that you're going to want to make sure that you have um, some separation. It's not just this flat green. So if we look at this area right here. This is the area I'm going to kind of look at. So we've got some water here, and the water really is horizontal. Think about that. Um, and when you do this, if you have water on yours, you want to make sure that you really are looking where you put your halfway mark, where you put your quarter mark. This is a very thin area of water that's, that goes across your painting. It doesn't go down. Okay. Now, you see dark areas in your trees. You're going to see some light areas and some very dark areas, okay? That's where you're going to sort of apply your complementary color. You might use um, in these, these areas down here, they're kind of dark, a lot darker than here. So you might use a, a little bit of purple in here. You might use a little bit of blue in here. In these areas, some yellow, some um, perhaps some uh, peach in there. So kind of think about what different colors that you can use in there to set them off, make them different, because you don't want a blob of green in there and then to just be looking like a hill. It's got trees on it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with kind of like the edge and in the edge of this, if you can look at this photo here, I have little grasses there. So we're not gonna do those quite yet because those are in the front. So we're thinking about the ones that are in the back first. So 
We're looking at everything back here, and then we're going to come up to the front. All right, so that area is pretty light, and I'm going to get some of my light green, which is this one's very kind of like almost a limey type of green, but I'm going to I'm going to dot, okay? And I'm kind of pushing pushing my area, okay? Just getting some things established to start. Now, you can use up here, I might just use a little bit of blue because this is my area where I, I was telling you that it's light and you know that the next row of trees kind of starts. So, you know, I might put some blue in like that. Look for your dark areas, kind of little wedges of color shape it off a little bit there's a little dark area right in here okay and this is where it kind of separates i think where it get, becomes another level these actually look like a different trees that are in this area over here okay so I've got some darker area trees that are in here. And now I'm sort of I'm making these, think about like how the trees are shaped, okay? You know, you're gonna have to do, you wanna make sure that you have your, if you see sky behind that, you wanna have sky behind it. Um, so again, like I don't wanna, I don't want to, um, I don't wanna draw, I'm sorry, I don't want to do my trees before I would do my sky behind it. We're just practicing right now, so just practice on your scrap piece of paper. Okay, a painting is something a little different than a drawing. A painting, you work backwards. So when I start on my good paper, I'm going to start with the sky. I'm going to start with the background, and then I'm going to work my way forward. Because these things, you don't want to have like a little separation of space where you're, where you're seeing a little white gap between these areas. Okay, so you're going to want to overlap. So if I have trees that are kind of sticking up over this, the trees will go right on top of my blue sky. Okay. So you're going to pop in and shape some of your trees. Okay, and think about, I'm going to draw these a little bit bigger down here just so that you guys can see what I'm saying. Think about getting some light in there, have some nice sun shining on the tips of those trees. Okay, shape them off. I'm using a little bit of a lighter green in this area than I did than I am in this area. Okay, shape them off. Okay, and now I'm kind of coming down a little bit and kind of getting a little. I'm going to get a little bigger with this area down here. So, let's see. Some of my green to separate. So this is nice because you can start to see a little bit of that behind it. If you miss a little bit, I'm going to use a little bit of purple. If you miss some of these, what's nice is that you have that back, that background, which is of the underpainting. Uh, I, I'm going to go right on top of some of that purple that I put in there. All right. And I'm going to separate this a little bit more for my next one. And I'm going to show you a little bit down here. This is where I can use my red because you're going to see this is the complementary color. And when I put the red in there, it's going to really turn it pretty dark. Okay, so I've got my medium green I'm putting back in here. Um, and I'll show you a little bit of uh, this is kind of olivey green. More of a neutral. Okay, you might be doing a lot of this noise. I'm 
make sure you're getting that pastel really close together and shape your trees. If you have, this really looks like um, they're brushy trees. They're not uh, pine trees or something like that. If you have pine trees, you're gonna have to shape those the way that they actually are shaped. Okay, and if branches come over a certain area, like I said, if it goes over into your sky area, you've got to do that. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of that there just to show you. I'm going to put a little bit of color back there just to kind of show you how this would be the underpainting if you're blending it in. Okay. So a little bit more, I'll do a little bit more for you, and then I do want you to do this. I want you to do this exercise where you're trying wa water, sky, brush, um, whatever else you have in your painting, try a sample. Okay, so let's say that you have kind of like grasses down here. So I'll take some, you know, I definitely want to have, I want to be able to see some of this. So I'm going to take some little bit of blue. You might have flowers. Okay, and remember, anything that's in front, that's why I'm doing these. I did this first, and I'm doing these after. Okay, anything that is in front, you want to make sure you're doing that last. So you're, you're saving, you're reserving a little space. Okay. We're going to get some of this in there so all right so let's say we've got kind of like these tall um i don't know flowers or something that's kind of okay my underpinning's behind there it's starting to rain out Okay, so these are going to be on top. And think to yourself that there's going to be some that if it's sunny, you know, you're going to have some highlight in there. So you'll have a little white in there, however it goes. Okay, um, if you've got flowers, you know, whatever your flowers are in front, however they look. Okay, impression. So just little impressions of your flower. Okay. You know, you're going to start to see things work. You're going to start to see how it actually builds up. You want this to be like really rich. I keep saying that, but thick. Um, one thing that we tend to say um, when we look at some of our student work, when our, all of us are getting together, is that, oh, that, that one so thick like the painting when we're looking at these um, when we're looking at these landscapes so and which is a good thing we want to have nice texture okay don't be afraid to pop in things okay it'll go right over the top of any background that you've already put down there. That's what I wanted to show you with this. Okay, so if you're really kind of like applying it proper where you're push, push, pushing it down, okay? So this is what I want you to try. I want you to make sure that you are trying the sky, 
I would like you to try water. Water is going to be something that goes back and forth. And I would like you to try your foliage, whatever you have for foliage. Remember you're under painting. Remember you're under painting. Okay, that's gonna be important. All right, thank you.